All right. God says, fear not. In Isaiah 41.10, God says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God tells us, don't worry. You know, even when people have uh, so many, you know, fears they have because this will happen, this will happen. God says, fear not. And so when we uh, share any information or do any uh, broadcast, it is a way for us to continue to pray. It is not that we are afraid. It is not that we have given up. Because every time we hear about something, that's when we have to say, Lord, uh, see what they are doing, you know. Please, don't allow them to succeed. But the main thing is that we need to encourage one another. That is the main thing as we have in the proclamation, that we want the ability to encourage our brothers, our sisters, our family, our loved ones, our husbands and wives, our neighbors. We want to encourage them because people have fears. And fear is what people use to suppress. And when you say, oh, you are going to die if you don't do this, people are saying, oh, well, oh, what, what must I do? You know, But what God has already said, people are not paying attention. God says, repent, change your ways, seek God. So when we do God's will, then we do not have to worry. The Lord Jesus Christ already told us, fear him who is able to kill not just the body, the soul, and put the person and the soul in, her, in the lake of fire. So, yes, uh, we are being bombarded, but God says, fear not. And even uh, Christians need to be encouraged. We know God told uh, Commander Joshua, fear not, right? Isaiah is also being encouraged. Fear not. Who else? Jeremiah. God told him, don't worry. They will plot against you, but don't be afraid. Fear not. Daniel. What was it? Daniel ten nineteen says, And he said, O man, greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be to you. Be strong. Yes, be strong. So, the whole agenda of this is to help us to not fear. Don't fear what they are planning. Don't, don't fear their agenda. Don't fear anything. Anytime you hear anything that is uh, making you uh, fearful, all you do is, Lord, God, please, we submit this into your hands. We pray, help us. Uh, let us know uh, what to do, what to pray for. So the goal again is let us not fear. Fear not. If God is with us, you know, who can be against us? All right. Uh, Romans 8. Starting from thirty two Okay, um thirty one rather. Thirty one to Okay, well uh read all thirty one to uh thirty nine. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own Son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. 
Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, For your sake we are killed all day long, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. That in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So, uh, we see uh, that God has so many things that he wants us to be encouraged about. He says, fear not. You know, uh, to King David, God said, fear not. And when uh, Prophet Samuel uh, informed him, and also he says, uh, you know, just remain faithful. The agenda of the devil is he knows that Christians have faith in God. And so his agenda is to put fear in people so that instead of trusting God, instead of having faith in God, instead of holding on to what God has said. He's putting fear and people start to be afraid. Oh, uh, well, um, you know, I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of that. God says, fear not. Brother, that please read uh, Mark 11. And uh, we'll start 22. You know, it's a familiar passage. But uh, it's always important that we always uh, go to verses of scripture that reminds us of what uh, the word of God says. So that when uh, we have issues, we should just have that confidence. Because when the confidence is there, you know, uh, when we have prayed, when we have done it, you know, it is already uh, answered. 11, uh, chapter 11, 22 to 24, please. Can you hear me? 22 to 24, please. Ah, okay, 22 to 24. And Jesus answering, saying unto them, Have faith in God. 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and should not be thou in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he sinned shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye deserve, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall be them. Amen. Amen. So God says, anything we pray about, we should believe that we have it. So if we've prayed about something and God says, whatever you've prayed, he told us a long time ago that whatever you have prayed for, believe that it's already done. So if we hear God's word and we know what God's word says and we keep saying that, oh Lord, please help me, Lord, help me, Lord, help me. God says, if you've already said it once, and it is already answered. So why do we keep, uh, you know, repeating the request? We have to start believing. And so God has given us a huge power, a great power, that if we can use, we can uh, have a great success. So let's see uh, again what uh, he says. Uh, Psalm 46, brother, please. Psalm 46. One and two. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very pleasant help in trouble. Therefore, will 
not fear to the earth be removed and to the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea. Amen. Amen. So God is saying here, and we are being encouraged that, you know, uh, what we are being told is that God is our refuge. He is our defense. He is our protector. He is our strength and a very present help in trouble. So anytime we have pro uh, problems, we should know that God is already here. God already hears us. He created us. He knows even our fears before the fear came. He knows our thoughts before we even started becoming afraid. And so he said, therefore, we not we fear. We are not going to fear. We are not going to have any uh, doubt. Though the earth be removed, when even we see something as, oh, wow, look at the whole earth is being moved. The mountain is, don't be afraid. And when people plan bad things, we should not be afraid. And so here, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, you know, we are not going to be afraid because we know what God's word says. And God's word says he will protect us. He will guide us. So again, to uh, conclude what we want to say, the Lord Jesus Christ says, Fear not. Fear not means don't be afraid. Don't worry what they will do because God has already answered our prayers and that's why anytime we have uh, uh, we go before God we are supposed to be thanking God for what he has already done. We have to be, you know, Anyway, it, all we do is just thank God, praise God. We thank you for answering our prayer. Thank you for doing, thank you. And that allows uh, us to have that faith because when we believe, God is always answering our prayer. God knows what we need. And so when he says we should communicate with him through prayer, it is to get connect, is to get refreshed that, oh yes, I have already connected. I have already uh, reached out to God. And he's already answered me. All he wants us to have that relation that we are always contacting him and all we are always connected. And uh, the Lord promised us. So we know that because he promised us, he has already done it for us. So we thank God for what he has already given to us for the message that we are not to be afraid. Fear not. God says fear not. If God says fear not, then we should not be afraid. We should just be laughing at them. We should just quote Psalm 2 to them. Or we can quote Psalm 83. The whole chapter, it's a long passage. Also, it has uh, other information. But all we need is faith. May God increase our faith and allow us to know what the Word of God is so that nobody will deceive us in any way, shape, or form. Again, we thank God for what He has brought to our attention. Let us kneel down to prayer.